We've reached the last day with the test for the Volkswagen Amarok dark label. First things first, what don't I like about it? The windows don't close from the key. Perhaps I'm spoilt, but I'm used to just about every VW doing that, even in Paul Lozarians alone. The ignition, you can start the car without applying brakes. It's 2020, that for me felt quite unsafe. I've got a three year old at home who's become very curious lately about cars and she's understanding things quite fast so that i felt even manuals now you clutch in for the car to start that i felt was a tad bit dangerous um wouldn't be dangerous but you know i just felt it could be done better um what do i like it's look in this dark gray color with the black enhancements the black mirrors the door handles the black side steps the black sports bar the 18 inch wheels all these are exclusive to the dark label um, it does set it apart and it actually does uh, draw quite a lot of attention on the road um, The interior leather seats car like cluster car like steering wheel the ride It just feels right everything about it feels right the performance 420 newton meters of torque 132 kilowatts of power from a two liter bi turbo diesel engine with a four motion and mated to an eight-speed gearbox um, 9 out of 10. The only time the gearbox I found it to be wanting was when changing down. Ah, you have to remember it's 8 gears. So if you're coming and you're trying to change down, you have to snap it quite a bit to remember that, you know, it's going to get to the right gear. Um, but other than that, I can't fault it. It pulls nicely and uh, it rides quite well. I know that a lot of people are having a go now with things like or, you know, multi-link suspension. This still has lift springs, which means it can load quite a bit. But other than that, it's a good bucket. It really is a good bucket. In fact, it's one of those that this, this car started the lifestyle segment in motoring in terms of buckies, whereby buckies didn't have to be rugged, uh, unrefined, and um, very manly. I'm not saying this one is any less manly. It's just that off the bunch, it's the one with the brains and handsome. And I have to say, I mean, I'm used to a V6 in these things, and I've spent an extensive amount of time in the V6. This one reminded me that, yeah, the bi-turbo diesel of the Volkswagen is quite a peach.